Dearest Father, We shall be graduating next week and I shall be getting my diploma. I want to thank you now for the two most wonderful years of my life. I shall always love you for sending me here. It is late at night and someone across the way is playing La Vie en Rose. It is the French way of saying, I am looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. And it says everything I feel. I have learned so many things, Father. Not just how to make vichyssoise or calves head with sauce vinaigrette, but a much more important recipe. I have learned how to live. How to be in the world and off the world. And not just stand aside and watch. again run from life or from love either I am taking the plane home on Friday father you needn't pick me up at the airport I'll just take the Long Island Railroad and you can meet me at the station the 415 If you'd have any difficulty recognizing your daughter, I shall be the most sophisticated woman at the Glen Cove station. Hi everyone. For this video I want to share with you a beautiful monologue from the film Sabrina by Audrey Hepburn, which entirely sums up my feelings about the growth I had over the last one and a half years. In December 2018, I felt like the carpet was pulled under my feet. I thought my world turned upside down. But rainbows here and there started to shine, or at least that's how I wanted to see it. The more I got to know myself during this process, the more I was able to face the fears that flooded my mind in 2019. I know I didn't share those days with you completely. I recorded them though. Maybe one day I want to share them. I've been really interested in looking inward and rewinding lately. Probably because I can't really move forward, which is driving me crazy. But being stopped in my tracks have given me the freedom to look into the past. I want to keep growing mentally and emotionally. I made that promise to myself one and a half years ago. But I want to keep growing responsibly, with gratitude and with love. This may seem very simple to you, but simple things bring the most enlightening moments in life, I think. Looking through my journey in Korea, I realized one fun thing I did was eating. I literally ate my way through Seoul. Food was amazing. And I loved Korean food ever since trying my Sensangnim side dishes. And then onward, Mangchi entered my life, the beautiful YouTuber. She has been my go-to cooking queen for the last eight years. Do you know who I am talking about? I even remember her first homemade videos. I'm just very thankful that this platform was there for me when I needed it the most keep my mind occupied instead of burying myself under work, which I know is not very healthy, but which also tends to be my escape. Thank you for your support. You were there for me from the start. I see you and I appreciate you so much. Here is the monologue I want to share with you. This is what I learned in the past one and a half years. Dearest Father, we shall be graduating next week and I shall be getting my diploma. I want to thank you now for the two most wonderful years of my life. 
I shall always love you for sending me here. It is late at night and someone across the way is playing La Vie en Rose. It is the French way of saying, I am looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. And it says everything I feel. I have learned so many things, father. Not just how to make Michoiseois or calves head with sauce vinaigrette, but a much more important recipe. I have learned how to live. How to be in the world and off the world. And not just stand aside and watch. And I will never, never again run from life or from love either. I am taking the plane home on Friday, father. You needn't pick me up at the airport. I'll just take the Long Island Railroad and you can meet me at the station. The 415. If you'd have any difficulty recognizing your daughter, I shall be the most sophisticated woman at the Glen Cove station. Today is June 1st, and this monologue says everything I feel right now, but in a much more symbolic and well put together way. I hope you're having a beautiful and safe day, and I hope to see you soon.